Hi everybody, thanks for watching. Today I'm going to show you how to refill a CO2 carbonator for SodaStream. You can reuse it and save money, they say, but when they charge you $20 to refill your SodaStream cylinder, they're making a lot of money. I'm going to show you how to do it for about $2, and I'm going to show you or how I do it. First thing you want to do, or first thing I do, is use a fairly hefty wrench. This is an adjustable wrench. And I like an adjustable one because I can just use one wrench for both things. There's a little bolt on the side of this head that you need to take off first. I already pre-loosened it uh, with a wrench just to save time for the video. This is the pressure release valve. Um, if this had any pressure at all, it would be hissing right now. Uh, then you want to expand your wrench out to a, bit, a little bit larger to take the head off. And it's a standard screw, righty tighty lefty loosey. Uh, I had to actually take this on the floor and hit the edge of the handle on the floor to kind of break it free, but now it's uh, it's turning smoothly. So we'll open this up, and it's threaded a whole bunch of times. And you'll see in here, I'll try to show you, let me zoom in down here. There's a little black spot on that thread. You can see it right about there. That is kind of the uh, foolproof thing. That's another pressure relief. If you forget to take this valve out, that will relieve all the pressure before this thing shoots out like a little projectile or missile. So that's a good design. We'll take this all the way out. And the other thing you want to do is inspect this O-ring or this gasket. Make sure it's in good condition because you're going to reuse it. And now you're sitting here with an empty CO2 cartridge or an empty CO2 cylinder. Uh, what we're going to do is add the appropriate amount of CO2. Our CO2 is going to be the form of dry ice. You can buy that here locally. It's $1.89 a pound. Uh, we're going to buy that. Um, a pound is 16 ounces. Uh, so I bought a couple pounds to make sure I'd have enough. But still, that's $4. Whatever's left over, we'll play with, with the kids for some science experiments. Um, CO2, the unit here, takes 14.5 ounces. I've got this little scale next to it. That's my wife's home business postal scale. I'm going to set the cylinder on it. And I see it weighs 1 pound 3.3 ounces. So that's not all. We're not done. On top here, I'm going to tape with painter's tape a funnel. I have tape it on there because it's too big. I probably have to back off to see this and see if I can balance it here. Yeah, I can balance. We'll come off the treadmill here. I'm going to tape that funnel. Alright, I've got the uh, rig taped up now. and We're going to go down and see what it weighs on the scale. You can see it's 1 pound, 5.7 ounces. We want to add, there it is, 14.5 ounces. So if we do the math, 1 pound, okay, it's 5.6, 5.7 ounces plus 14.5 ounces equals 2 pounds, 4.2 ounces. That's our goal. We're going to crush up the dry ice from that, put it into there, and we'll stop when it gets just shy of two pounds, four ounces. Because I want to underfill this a little bit. You don't want to overpressurize these things. I'm sure there's some slop and safety in there, but I'm going to err on the conservative side. So instead of two pounds, 4.2 ounces, we'll probably stop at 2.4 pounds, or two pounds, four ounces. So without further ado, let's get crushing uh, the dry ice. Try to keep the mess to a minimum so you cover it up. Give it a good whack. And you can see we powder a lot of that stuff. A couple more of these bigger pieces. And I'm going to reach this. Uh, I'm going to take this to the top and dump it in. We can watch the scale go up. We're getting close. We're at 2 pounds, 3.1 ounces. I'm going to crack up a couple more. The magic number for us is 2 pounds, 4.2 ounces. That's the width of our sil of our filter of our funnel included. All right, we're at our 2.4, 2 pounds, 4.2 ounces. I'm going to add a little bit more because it's going to take me a while to get the cap back on. So just a hair on the outside of that. That's at 2.4 or 2 pounds, 4.5.
let me install the pressure relief valve back in. Check that O-ring. I'm going to pull off my funnel. Take this off the scale because I'm confident now we have enough. Not too much, just enough. Undo the tape, relatively frozen. Now, I like painter's tape because it comes off cleanly once it's all done. And uh, I'm going to put the valve back on. Sorry. Snug it up. Make the wrench smaller to get that pressure release valve on there. So that's really quick and a fun way to save like 18 bucks. Uh, two bucks worth of CO2 uh, solid form, otherwise known as dry ice. A uh, funnel from the kitchen and uh, a simple wrench from the garage and some tankers tape. If you have a postal scale, that helps a lot. That's how you do a refill on your soda stream carbon dioxide cylinder. Hey, I hope you like my videos. If you do, uh, hit subscribe. I put new ones on all the time. And as always, thanks for watching. Okay, I've installed the uh, cartridge, got my bottle of tap water, filled up to the right level, close it and we'll press the button and see what happens. Looks and sounds normal. Two, we'll do one third one to make it really carbonated. And we'll give it a taste here. Tastes like carbonated water. So it works. Pretty slick. A little bit messy, but it's a fun way to save 20 bucks. Okay, thanks for watching.